this research project contains the responses to qualitative interviews conducted in various schools who have visited Danger Point over the last four to six months. During the interview, a series of eight questions are asked. The following videos are the children's responses. Giving me marks out of 10, how would you score your experience of Danger Point? With one being really boring to 10 being really fun. I'd give it a 9 because it learns kids about dangerous things. 9.5. 10 because I enjoyed um, going around and seeing different experiences compared to what I knew already. Dig. 10 being really fun. 8 because of the activities we did. 10 because it was really good because you learned about all the dangers that could be around you. 10. The neurosophia and the neurosophia. 10. It was just a fun experience. 10. Um, 8 out of 10 because I really enjoyed it but it could have been a little bit better because there's always room for improvement. What was your favourite part? Well, my favourite part was doing the quiz because um, it was really fun to do it all but then I didn't realise how much I actually learnt from it. Probably the bit where we watched a video when we were in the train. I think the house, because it looked like a real house and it was realistic. When we learnt about how um, dangerous floods can be. The Hibokas and nothing is doing a costume but the tie or tie and dog. I liked the section about being at home because it was fun putting all the hoops on the fingers. And my favourite part is like we got to work together and um, actually talk to each other about what was happening. When we met Chaos. He was a cheeky alien and he did naughty things but the people taught us what not to do what Chaos did. Were there any parts that you didn't like or that you think could be made better? It was all very good. I think it was all amazing. No. A beach scene, there'd be a little story there maybe. Well, I thought some of the things were a tiny bit confusing, but other than that, it was fine. Do you think that Danger Point has made you more aware of dangers? Yeah. Yes, definitely. I am more aware of cars coming. But yeah, like, I thought like when you delete the video, it's gone, but it's never gone off the internet. That's very, like on the road safety. Can you explain what you learnt at Danger Point about fire safety? Um, always close the door and use a towel or something to block under the door so you can't escape. I learned that if you have a broken charger, it might set fire to your bed. Do you care about yourself getting out the building, not anyone else? Just keep down to the ground because the smoke goes up and you stay down to breathe fresh air. Don't leave stuff for a charge. Always have to put your hand on the back of the door. So just mm -hmm. to check up the heat because the back of your hand is the most sensitive. Mm -hmm. Name to check your uh, alarm. Home safety. In the bedroom, you shouldn't leave your device on charge on the bed because it could cause a fire. Switch off the electronics if you're out. Never leave a broken charge on the bed. Well, I love that Home can be just as dangerous as the outside world. Internet safety. If it's a not secure website, don't put your email or credit card numbers or passwords. It's like there's no limits, but you've got to limit yourself. And never give away your, any of your personal details. I Building site safety. Always wear a hard hat. To keep away from the building instruction because it could fall on your head or you could get hurt. To not go on private property. Electricity. Uh, it conducts with water and I'm going to water with electricity. Uh, let's say you've been with a ball and someone was stuck next to electricity or something, not to go near it, just to leave it. Don't use broken wires that like snapped because they could electrocute you. To never uh, put in electronic water because you have a chance of um, getting electrocuted. Beachside safety. It's not playing the rocks because you could fall in really easily and you don't know um, how deep it is. Oh, it's, I mean, it's like, yeah. 
and Koch be going to do to be aware of if there's any high tides and always like keep where you can see all the sand. You should always like stay in the lifeguards flags and look out for boats. In the rough carefully going to the across the north I got to find a coach up in the here to go near more actually. Transport safety. You're not supposed to be climbing over the tracks. I learnt that you shouldn't throw things at trains and you should be more aware of what you do. Be aware of train tracks because the train will be to stop here with faster cars. To never mess around by a train station, by the rails or railway. And to always stand back where it says, because um, normally there's like a yellow line to say stand, don't go. Hide in the old train to try not. It takes 20 football pitches to stop if it's going at 120 miles per hour. Bullying. Don't bully kids because you'll, you'll be the one getting in trouble. In trouble. Tell the parent or teacher. Don't get involved if someone's doing it. Not to be horrible and if you are getting horrible messages, then if it's someone from your school, inform the teacher or your parents or a trusted person. If you get bullied, you gotta tell someone. But don't grab the boat in physical or online. Road safety. Always look left and right when you're crossing the road. Always say like, stay, don't always cross if the car's coming, even if it's on the regular, just in case they do things. Even though the light to walk might be green, always check first. I would know not to cross the road when there's cars coming. You should always look at the traffic lights when you're crossing the road. So always look left and right. Only go when it's a green light. And you should always take green lights. Flood safety. But if you're on low ground, you will basically you get caught up in the flood. But if you're on like a hill, you probably won't. 15 centimetres of water could knock you off your feet and the, when flood water like builds high it knocks out all the electricity. If you're in a flood and you're on low ground, don't stay there because you have more of a chance of getting hurt or taken away by the water. You should always stay together otherwise you could lose someone. It can drop you on your feet after 15 centimetres. The shock. If I do become a shopkeeper and ask for someone's passport or ID, if they do look too young for what age they are, if they're trying to buy cigarettes or alcohol. To always hide your pin number because people might use it. I don't know how to solve the problem. I don't know how to solve the problem. There is uh, an age restriction, like with alcohol, uh, to help you keep healthy because if a child drinks alcohol then you're going to get really ill. Farm safety. If you're by one of the electricity things you can't get stuck up there and don't climb up and get it because you could get electricity. Not to climb on the electric. It could be like hay and straw and if you play with that you can badly hurt yourself. It's um, not safe in there because Chaos could climb up the um, hay and then it could all fall on top of it. You shouldn't play on hay bales because you might fall through them. Have you done anything differently with the messages you have learned at Danger Point? I've been more careful with things. Yeah, I've done lots of things differently because I go kayaking and I've been a lot more aware with my dog. I always used to just run across and I didn't hear a car, but now I have to look both ways. Applying on the how confident are you about dealing with risky situations after visiting Danger Point? I feel really confident after visiting Danger Point. Good, but confident now. Very confident. More confident. I'm a lot more confident than I used to be because I know the dangers now. Have you told any of your friends or family about what you have learned at Danger Point? Yes, I've told my mum and my dad about things you should do like no clams, do it once a week. Yeah, I went back because I told my mum and my dad and my grandparents. So then we went back there and went to Easter. Yeah, tell them that we should make a 
fire safety exit thing if there's a fire. We were crossing the road to come to school. I was like, you should always look just in case, because there was a car coming up, that you should always look that um, just before you cross. I talk about that when you cross the road and the alarm goes. It's for people that are blind. Describe danger points in your own words. It was absolutely amazing. It's basically a lesson, but it's fun. Just for the south. That when you go there, you learn stuff that is actually really important. Well, I describe it as a place where you go and have fun, but you also learn um, lots of important things about things that you didn't even know were dangerous. If there is one standout safety message you took away from Danger Point, what would it be? You see someone on the floor holding an electric thing and moves the electric thing with a wooden thing. Standout safety message that I remember the most is probably getting people into the recovery position.